Hello and happy Monday. Um, I hope you are enjoying your um, Memorial Day weekend. Um, I am. I've already been out on the bike and had some Starbucks and getting ready to go somewhere else. But I wanted just to stop in here for a few minutes and give you some encouragement today and share a little bit about the verse that I shared yesterday. Um, so if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you've been here for a while, you know that I'm Marsha. I'm author of um, 40 Days of Faith and Fitness, and I believe that our lives need to be built on a foundation of faith. And one of the things that we focus a lot he a lot on here in this space is healthy living um, and you know the struggles that we have with body image um, I mean like just right now I'm looking at my reflection going okay I need to I need to cover this up a little bit and I should have gotten myself you know put a little more makeup on before I stopped in here so you know it's there we're constantly um, struggling or if you are like me there are these things that that bombard us all the time no matter our age um, where we struggle um, with with body image or, or you know things like that and so um, this space I hope I want you to find encouragement um, to live a healthy life um, to have the freedom to live a healthy life that looks good that is right for you and that you know and the one that is right for me and those don't always look the same way they don't um, fit the profile that you necessarily see on a magazine cover, but we're just here wanting to honor God by honoring our bodies um, so that we kind of get the focus off of that, you know, live a healthy life, but then be able to just get on and living the life that God has called us to live. And so yesterday's verse was Psalm 23, 6, and I want to read it real quick to you. It says, surely your goodness and your love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And yes, Psalm 23, we are um, most familiar with that. Um, kind of, you know, it starts out, you know, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And so um, it is a psalm that a lot of times we'll just hear, um, you know, in, when people are in dire straits and maybe even at a, a funeral or something. Um, but this encouragement at the end of it, we can use it daily because God's love, his goodness is is around us daily um, as we choose to dwell in his presence. And um, a book I shared with you last week um, called Why Her by Nikki Koziars, um, some of the lies that we believe, um, one of them specifically is that when maybe she wins or, you know, somebody else wins or you see them being successful in a, in a certain part of her life, we take that as it's our loss. But the thing is, her gain is not our loss. Um, we can all win. We can all be in this together. And because, because God's goodness is available to each and every one of us, his, his power, his love, there is, it's immeasurable. So there is plenty for you. There is plenty for me. And so again, surely God's goodness, surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I want to share, um, a quick excerpt here from this book and uh, I finished it up a couple weeks ago um, but I love how she puts this with God's goodness it says I don't know all the reasons why it feels so hard to see the goodness of God in our lives can you can you you know hear that do you do you see that I mean I know we can look around and we can see that goodness somewhere else but it's hard for us to see that but why is that and she goes on to say I don't know why we're often only able to see it in others I just know if we're not careful to stay in the reality of God's love and goodness, we'll slip into a place where our souls become unwell and we'll miss what's right in front of us. So we need to see what he is doing in our lives and acknowledge the goodness um, and his love that, that is happening in our lives because God's goodness is there available to you, available to me um, in every area. Um, so I just want to encourage you with that today to take a look at Psalm 23, 6, you know, and again, know that God's goodness and love will follow you, will follow each of us all the days of our lives. Um, and it says, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And so his presence is available to us to, to dwell in that, to live in that, um, and his goodness and his love is there for us. 
Um, so anyway, I, I hope that you are encouraged by that. Again, every Sunday I share a scripture. I come back on Monday and talk a little bit about that because the most important thing is that we know that we live um, and we serve a God who is faithful. His word is living and active and we can build our lives, our healthy lives on a foundation of faith. And one thing I wanted to share with you really quickly is that um, coming up starting on June 1st, which is this Friday, in my free Facebook group, we are going to read together Made to Crave by Lisa Turkhurst. Um, I'm not going to tell you all about how that has been life-changing for me. I read it first for the first time six years ago, and I still refer to it. But if you are looking to um, find that freedom in living a fit and healthy life, and if you, um, you know, just struggle and, you know, continue to go back and forth or up and down with the yo-yo dieting or just with the way that you feel about your weight or your approach to healthy living, um, this book was just a game changer for me and I want to share it with you um, tomorrow in my email I'll share um, a little bit you know I have struggled with some things and sometimes it's good just to go back to those basics and so I'm going back to this book that um, was very powerful in my life and I believe that it can be just as powerful for you to help you maybe break, break free some um, bondage when it comes to this issue of weight or body image and so we're going to be reading it together um, there is no cost there the only commitment you need to make is get your copy of the book if you don't have it already you may have it you may have read it a long time ago or maybe never finished it um, but feel free to join us in the Facebook group. I'll talk more about that. Um, there will be more information in tomorrow's email. So if you're on my list, make sure you open that up and take a look at that. If you're not on the list, I'll leave the link below so that you can get on my weekly email. I just send it out usually just maybe once a week. Um, not a ton of stuff just to let you know what's going on and to give you, again, some you know fitness, inspiration, motivation, all faith-based um, just to encourage you on this journey. Um, we're in it together, and I you know, just invite you to join me, um, join us in the group um, to read this, uh, to read Made to Crave together this summer if you are interested in that. So um, enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thank you so much for being here. If you have questions for me, leave them in the comments or message me, and I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, so I'm off to the next thing, trying to stay cool. It's super duper hot. Um, but it's a great day to be with family and friends, and I hope you're enjoying the day as well. So I'll talk to you soon.